Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F14B Tomcat and we're looking at interior and exterior lighting. Now there's quite a lot of controls for this and so I thought we'd better make a quick video. So we're in our F14 here, the sun's going down, it's time to get our lighting sorted. So first we'll do the interior lighting. So the F14 has a movable utility light in the front and the rear cockpit and that's simulated by the flashlight in DCS. So if we go left, alt and L you can see wherever I move about now I've got the the uh, simulated utility light okay so we've got first of all a white floodlight and we can have that on off bright or dim so sorry about my head movements here so I'm gonna have that on bright just because I can and we've got a red floodlight that we can have on bright medium or dim so let's turn that up to bright then we've got our master light dial so our ACM panel here we can have our lights on from between one up to nine so that's those on our AOA indexer up on the near the HUD we can have the lights on for that up to nine the main instrument panel we can have the backlighting on for that for the main instruments and you can see you kind of got this big red glow now of the uh, dials which looks really cool we've got the uh, console lights uh, backlights uh, which are red as well so this is all lit up now and this is all lit up looks looks great when the uh, sun's gone down and as well we've got this one here the hook bypass um, field or carrier so if we have that in carrier mode then the AOA index the lights flash if we've forgotten to put our hook out which is a very easy thing to do so next we're going to go back to the uh, Rio seat so we look down to the right again we can have our instrument lights on up to full and you can see a red glow around the instruments and we can have our console lights on lovely red glow again and if we want we can have our floodlight on our white floodlight and if we want we can have our red floodlight uh, careful not to damage your night vision with the floodlights it looks great in here really really cool so back to the front cockpit and i'm going to start doing the exterior light so that starts with the taxi lights we're going to turn them on and you'll see that there are no taxi lights so what's gone wrong well it's because there is an extra button we need and it's here on the throttle. This uh, seems to be frustrating, frustrating a lot of people. If we want to turn our lights on, we have to turn our exterior light master switch toggle on. Um, you can have even an auto off bind or a toggle. I've got a toggle and I've just set it to the L key on the keyboard. So you'll need to go and set that up to be able to have lights. So, okay, press L and our lights are on. So next we've got our anti-collision lights that we can turn off or on. So we're gonna have that turned on. We can choose then we can choose whether our position lights are flashing or whether they're steady we'll have them steady then whether our tail position lights are off dim or bright and we're going to have that bright and our wing position lights whether they are off dim or bright and we're going to have them bright and next our exterior lights turned on the flight manual says that there's also a light for the refueling pro but i've not managed to find a switch for that anywhere so let's take a last look outside <laughs> And inside when it's darker okay hope you enjoyed that and see you later